Now, let's get started with the demo. So as you can see right here, we are in the NAV role center. Being fully embedded into NAV, you can directly access Planner 1 production scheduler, either by typing in Planner 1 in the research field of your NAV role center, right here as you can see, or you can also access it through the NAV manufacturing menu. Once chosen, production scheduler opens, displaying the different views saved by the user in his Planner 1 desktop. The different views can be customized according to your preferences and saved for each user. Each resource is displayed in individual rows. The resource GAN chart shows all operations that have been assigned to that resource. The work order GAN chart shows the work order due dates and their different operations. The load chart displays load percentage, load quantity and time per resource per period. When summed, this gives you a great view of the load by work center or machine center. And finally, in the last screen, you can see the sequence and the schedule of operations on each machine. With Planner 1, you can customize the different views. Each planner can display and open as many views as they wish, drag and drop the tabs, and even reorganize them. Planners can also decide to rename this tab. For example, here, I am going to look for my favorite customers. And I can also put filters on them. As you can see, I have a broad list of filters, which I can now apply on my customer Decathlon. Within each view, you can even go further. You can schedule on the long term or mid term by using the month scale or the week scale. And you can go further in detail in your resource GAN chart by using the daily time scale. If you need to focus on a part of your planning, you can simply use the zoom in or the zoom out at your convenience. Also, non working periods can be hidden. Colors can be changed at your convenience, so here for example I can choose to affect one different color per work order or one different color per status. As you can see right here, the gray color has been affected to a what-if work order simulation. You can also visualize one color per item, and the best thing is wait for it, Planner 1 is grouping production per items in order to minimize your setup times and maximize your machine productivity. And at last but not least, the advanced delay color allows you to stress out the work order which are late, the point being to have none of course. Ok, now let's switch back to the work order color. Your planner will be able to access all the information which for him is useful and decide to display it on the schedule. For example, you can add a customer's name on the operation bars. So here I scroll down, customer name, OK. But then you can also tell me, I can't see everything. Don't worry, we have a solution. Click on the Screen Tips button. And as you can see, you can add all of your desired information. And now, these chosen information will appear on the screen tip when you drag your mouse on the operation.